The Sukhoi Su-47 Burkut was a Russian experimental fighter aircraft designed to explore high maneuverability through its distinctive forward-swept wing configuration. This design significantly enhanced its ability to operate at high angles of attack, offering superb agility in close-range dogfights. The project was part of a broader push by the Soviet Union to develop a next-generation fighter to compete with Western aircraft like the American F-22 Raptor. The Su-47 project began in 1983. However, the dissolution of the USSR in 1991 led to a significant reduction in defense funding, and the project continued with support from Sukhoi albeit with a more limited scope. The prototype was completed in the late 1990s, with its maiden flight taking off on September 25, 1997. The aircraft was initially designated as the S-37 but later renamed the Su-47 Burkut, when Sukhoi aimed to market the aircraft as a production fighter. Burkut means Golden Eagle in Russian, reflecting the aircraft's agility and advanced design. A hallmark of the Su-47 is its forward-swept wing configuration. This design provides several aerodynamic advantages, such as higher lift-to-drag ratios, better stall resistance, improved maneuverability, and the ability to maintain control at very high angles of attack. However, this design also introduces significant structural challenges, as forward-swept wings tend to twist under aerodynamic loads, potentially leading to structural failure. To mitigate this, Sukhoi employed advanced composite materials designed to counteract this twisting while allowing the wings to flex appropriately. However, the aircraft's wing design limited its top speed to Mach 1.6, as the advantages of forward-swept wings diminish at higher supersonic speeds. The Su-47 is a single-seat aircraft with a length of 22.6 meters, a wingspan of 16.7 meters, a height of 6.4 meters, and a wing area of 56 square meters. The Su-47 has a gross weight of 25,670 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 34,000 kilograms, giving it a solid structural foundation for high-performance flight. The Su-47 was initially powered by two Soloviev D-30 F-6 afterburning turbofan engines, each capable of producing 93.1 kilonewtons of dry thrust and up to 152 kilonewtons with afterburners. These engines were borrowed from the Mikoyan MiG-31 Interceptor. The original design intention for the Su-47 was to test engines with two-dimensional and three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles to improve the aircraft's agility. However, those advanced engines were never installed, and the Su-47 retained the MiG-31's D-30F6 engines throughout its development. In terms of performance, the Su-47 could reach a maximum speed of 2,200 km per hour or Mach 2.21 at high altitudes, while at sea level it could achieve 1,400 km per hour or Mach 1.12. The aircraft had a maximum range of 3,300 km, and its service ceiling was 18,000 meters. It was designed to withstand G-forces of up to plus 9, which made it highly capable of executing extreme maneuvers. Additionally, its rate of climb was recorded at 233 meters per second or 45,900 feet per minute, showcasing its excellent acceleration and vertical performance. It required 550 meters for takeoff and 670 meters for landing. The Su-47's design borrowed heavily from previous Sukhoi aircraft, such as the Su-27. It incorporated the forward fuselage, vertical tails, and landing gear from the Su-27 family, reducing development costs. It was equipped with advanced avionics, including a digital fly-by-wire system, allowing precise control over the aircraft's flight dynamics. Additionally, the plane was equipped with reduced radar signature features, an internal weapons bay, and space reserved for advanced radar systems. The Su-47's airframe is primarily constructed from aluminium and titanium alloys, with 13% of its weight being composite materials. The Su-47 is equipped with 14 hardpoints, capable of carrying air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. Despite its formidable armament and agility, the Su-47 was not intended for operational service, but was a testing platform for technologies that would be incorporated into future Russian fighters. It provided valuable insights into advanced avionics, aerodynamics, and composite materials that influenced the design of the Su-57 fighters. While innovative, the forward-swept wing configuration was deemed less advantageous at supersonic speeds than more conventional designs, 
leading to its discontinuation in future aircraft.